y'all. Well, I know I look happier than I really am because I really got in a fickle pickle. You just wouldn't believe what happened to me. Everything was just going fine till the mail ran and I got my package I've been excited to see. I wasn't going to wear this hat. I was going to wear the hat that I got in the mail. Only something happened. Now guys, this is no lie. I'm not just making this up to make a video. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people do to make a funny video. This is real life stuff. And this really happened to me. I saw this cute hat online. And it was the cutest little thing. It looked retro, you know? It was white and it had a big old brim on it. Bigger than this, I thought. And this pretty big flower and some plumes that came off the top, white feathers. And I thought, oh Lord, I've got to have it, okay? And so I ordered it right then and there because the girl was wearing it. And it looked good. And it was on sale for $9.99. Now I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm dying. It's what it was. So I ordered it. Oh Lord, well it got here today. And let me tell you something. I'm fixing to show you what I got in the mail. And it taught me a lesson, let's just put it that way. You can't trust people nowadays. They'll finagle around being honest in a heartbeat. You know your heart beats quite a bit day after day and all night while you're sleeping when you don't even know it's beating. And then people in a heartbeat can just screw you over just like that. Well, that's what happened to me this time, let me tell you. But anyway, I'll be wearing that cute little hat at the end of this video. But um, this is going to be a short one anyway. But I'm going to put in what I found in that box after I get through rattling on here because you need to know exactly what happened, okay? And then I'll be wearing that little hat at the end of this video, and I'll discuss it some more, okay? Bye-bye. Looking forward to getting this hat. That's, that's a hat that is just beautiful. It, ha it woman was wearing it on the internet and everything. And it comes today in this little bitty box. And so I thought, oh well, maybe it just barely fits in there. It might be okay, you know. So then, y'all, I opened this box up. And, and you know, there was a woman wearing this hat that I'm fixing to show y'all. And I don't know how she got her big old head on it. Y'all. My hat that I look forward to wearing. My scissors are longer than it. Now they fooled me. There weren't, weren't no dimensions on this hat. All there was was a picture of a woman wearing it. Somebody went and bought a little bitty munchkin hat and done put a plume feather on it and a flower and made me think I was buying a lady's hat at a bargain price for $9.99. I want you to know, I thought then, well, how's Sassy gonna wear that? No problem! They put some little hair clips on the bottom. Y'all, no returns either. Well, my dogs are all three males, so they're not gonna wear it. Maybe somebody got a little monkey. I'll probably give it to my granddaughters, let them put it on their dolls or something. Y'all, I was so excited to get my nice hat. Well, I'm sure you'll see me wearing this little bitty sucker on my sassy hatsy videos. I hope you get a good laugh. After I'm uh, not angry anymore, <laughs> I'll probably laugh too. But until then, darn y'all, this ain't right. I hope their $9.99 that they took from me just, just, just windows down through their fingers like sand. Anyway.
Y'all be careful online buying stuff, especially if you don't read the fine print, I guess. I don't even think they had fine print. Those crooks. Gotta get them, y'all. Gotta get them. Hardening hat, y'all. Now, I'll tell you one thing. I didn't say it when I was opening that box, but the wrapper had a bunch of foreign language on it. Now, I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not, but I'm thinking those people over in that country's got little heads because that model had that hat on her head. Well, I want you to know now, it don't fit on my head. I've never been told I was a big head. Maybe I am, just nobody want to hurt my feelings. I don't know. <laughs> oh, but anyway, that's what I got, y'all. I'm not going to keep it. It don't fit me. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to give it to my little grandkids and let them put it on their dollies, and they'll just love it for about a day, and then the flowers will be off, and the little plume will be in my littlest baby granddaughter's mouth. I'm sure of it. But, you know, I learned $9.99 ain't a bargain if it don't fit you. You know, I had a friend one time. She was into bargains. She was always buying stuff, and she was so proud. I got this for $6.95. I said, oh, that is pumpkin orange, honey. Does that look good on you? Because pumpkin orange don't look good on me at all. And she said, well, no, not really. And I said, well, then was it really a bargain? When are you gonna wear it? Oh, I don't know, I'll just keep it for a rainy day. And I'm looking at it, it's made out of cotton, you know, and I'm thinking that ain't even waterproof. What does she mean she gonna keep it for a rainy day? But anyway, that's not a bargain. Sometimes we are gonna think we're getting something for nothing. Well, that doesn't usually happen that way. Every once in a while we get really blessed, you know, but it doesn't always happen like that. So anyway, we just gotta be careful. And yeah, they got me this time, but that's okay, you know? I'll still make good use of it. There wasn't no return. Go figure, you can't return your little bitty hat that only fits on those foreigners' heads. I guess, I don't know. I think they just swindled me. You know, people used to be real honest, and now they ain't. I miss the days of Lassie. I really do. You know, they never locked their screen doors. They always left them unlocked. And uh, I can't imagine what would happen if I'd leave my screen door unlocked at night when I was living in town especially. Well, somebody come in, take, just go in there and eat all my leftovers. My meatloaf now, they better stay away from it. I got a shotgun and I know how to use it, yeah? I do, but anyway, just I don't want to invite them in, you know what I mean? Because then, you know, if you shoot them, you got a mess to clean up. And who wants to live in the house after somebody got shot in there? Good Lord, have mercy. Anyway, I'd just rather they stay out all together. We won't have to worry about that. There's a lot of loony goonies in this world, y'all. You got to be careful. You got to be proactive. That's what they said, proactive. Well, anyway, I'm going to forgive these people. Maybe they thought I knew it was a little bitty hat. Maybe I didn't read all the instructions. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But, you know, I, oh, well, I made a big old funny anyway. I got to make a video about it. So that's all right. Now, one other thing I want to talk about that doesn't have Mount Tehillah beans about what all we've just been talking about. But I've been thinking about this all week, y'all. So I wanted to tell you about it a minute. You know, um, there's a few words that's changed through the years. You know what I mean? And one of them changed that I wished hadn't changed because it was for a very embarrassing day for my daughters when they were 
in high school and we went to the store and I think it was Walmart. We went in there and they had a whole line of different colored thongs hanging on the racks. And I started hollering real loud, girls, look at there. They got all different colors of thongs at $2 a piece. Y'all, I'm going to get me a pair and every color. And they're going, mama, be quiet. Be quiet, mom. Those aren't thongs. You mean those shoes over there aren't thongs? Those are thongs? She goes, Mom, they don't call them that anymore. Those are flip-flops. Well, let me tell you, they sure did flip-flop on me because I didn't know they weren't called thongs no more. Then they said, don't you know what a thong is? No. That's panties, Mom. So she takes me over to the panty rack, her and her little sister, and they pick me up a pair of thongs. Oh, no, uh uh-uh. Are you kidding me? Talk about your panties in a wad. I ain't going there. I've I've been spending half my life pulling my panties out of a wad. Why would I want a thong anyway unless I want somebody to see my butt? (laughs) Nobody wants to see my butt nowadays, y'all. I don't think I need to be wearing a thong. (laughs) Oh, but anyway, you know, some people call that the clutch. I don't. Whatever you call it, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm not going to have to call it nothing because I'm not wearing one of them things. That's all my girls own. What in the world, y'all? What's this world come to that we don't have to have any butts in our panties no more? Your panties, your your butt cheeks are going to get cold or something. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know. I mean, here I am talking about thongs and flip-flops and everybody done flip-flopped on me and they don't make no sense no more. You know another thing that don't make no sense that I got embarrassed of? I was trying to get up on the lingo or the lingo or what do you call it when people are using these letters like LOL, left out loud, you know, and LMAO, which I don't say, but you know, it's left my eh off. But anyway, there's one that, that's wrong on the floor laughing, right? Well, the first time I decided that I was going to use that lingo, okay? I just wrote it out there and sent it in a message, and somebody wrote me back and said, I don't think you want to be, uh, uh, let's see, uh, uh, rolling on a laughing floor. Yeah, I was rolling on a laughing floor instead of rolling on floor laughing. I got it all backwards and messed up. And so I was so embarrassed I wouldn't do it for a long time. And because I'm left-handed, you know, when people used to put their L up to their head like loser, well, mine was always backwards. So I didn't do that any either. So I just, every once in a while, what does smuh mean? Anybody know what smuh means? You know, S-M-H. It, I have to go look up this stuff, but I haven't looked that one up yet. So I don't know what it means. Smuh? Smuh? What does that mean, guys? Do you all know what that means? But anyway, I get tired of having to go Google everything. Can y'all just write the word out or are you just letting us know you can't spell? Oh, well, that's my thing today anyway. And me and my little hat's been a thinking. But, you know, it's all going to be all right, y'all. We all doing things weird nowadays. I mean, just look around. There's loonies around every corner, Ben. I mean, geez. I'm, a, I'm afraid to look up sometimes, you know? You smile somebody, they're going to get in your face and go, What are you looking at me for? Because they're all guilty about something, it seems like. Do you ever think about that? Everybody gets mad and gets all, you know, whatever you call it, in your face because they're already uh, guilty. Guilty, guilty. And another with the way you can tell somebody guilty. And I'm going to get done now. Okay, this is it. I mean, you're driving down the road and a cop flies by you on a double lane highway, right? Well, I just keep going to speed, but man, I watch car after car after car after car slamming on the brakes. I'm going, oh, if 
as a cop, I'd pull you over and check out your car. You probably got something in there you don't want me to see. <laughs> you aren't living right, y'all. If you gotta slow down every time you see a car, something is wrong. Let me tell you, you got a guilty conscience. It's gonna get you, y'all, because some cops are gonna figure it out. In fact, I told the cop that one time. I said, do you ever notice how people slow down when they see you coming, even if they're going the speed limit? And he goes, yeah, all the time. They're guilty of something. And I'm going, see? They know. They know, y'all. They just don't want to waste their time stopping everybody that puts on the brakes because there's a whole bunch of them. Think about that next time. You don't want to get caught doing something. I dropped my ring. <laughs> Hope that's not a sign or nothing. But anyway, you don't want to get caught for nothing. Don't do nothing wrong. And make sure you don't slow down and let everybody know you're guilty. <laughs> I don't sorry, y'all. I'm just in one of them moods. I think I'm going to go get me some tea and mellow out. I'm just a little hyper right now. All right, y'all. You have a good evening or morning or whatever it is. And it's everything be all right y'all we're just here to just love one another through it and you know help somebody get a little better when we can you know what i mean <laughs> some people don't want to change they just like being ugly i don't want to be ugly i mean ugly acting you know <laughs> okay y'all y'all have a good night and uh, make sure you read the instructions for your shop online <laughs> Unless you want to get one of them little people things, you know. Uh, I couldn't have got my big toe in a pair of pants this small, you know what I mean? <laughs> or a thong. Uh, let's just leave it there, like my daughters would say. All right, y'all, everything's going to be all right. Until next time, Sassy Hassy says bye.